Welcome back to Late Dinner with Bob. My name is Bob Babbitt. We are brought to you by Epson. We're also on triathlete.com. We're at the ITU World Championships this weekend. Right now, it's the ITU Hall of Fame. And somebody who one day might become ITU Hall of Famer, two-time ITU World Champion, ITU Junior Champion, right. two-time Ironman Champion, right. fifth place at the Ironman World Championships, Mr. Spencer Smith from England via Florida now joins us. How you doing, bud? I'm good, Bobby. I'm very, very well. You're looking well. You're looking. I love the jacket. I uh, love see? the jacket. What Versace. is that? It's Versace, baby. Enough said. Enough said. I know. Nobody dressed like no Spencer. One. Well, so what I loved about you when you were when you were younger, you watched the Iron Man. Because I'm TV. old now. You're old. Way old. You watched Iron Man on TV. You saw Hawaii. You saw the beautiful trees and everything else. And I think you went to a championship in England and woke up in the hotel room with dad, right, right, right. looked out, right. and what did you see? Well, there was no palm trees, I can assure you of that. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was in Wakefield. I don't know if anyone knows about England, but that's not the most tropical place in yeah, the world. Yeah, yeah. And it was absolutely lashing down. So I look out the window, I said, Dad, Mark Allen, Dave Scott, I don't think they race in this. <laughs> anyway, so we have a big argument. Now, this is the national championships yeah. there. And... Um, he goes, right, well, don't race it. So he, he throws the bike in the, back of the, in the back of the car. We're on our way back home. And then I said, oh, you know what? Just do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Anyway, you know, long story short, I did win the race. It was my first <laughs> national title. Yeah. I was racing Simon, which was even sweeter. Simon Lessing. Of course, Simon Lessing. Um, and so we talk about rivalries. Talk, I mean, you got you and okay. Simon. Simon got yeah. me up in the morning. He did, didn't he? Simon got me up in the morning. And if there is any reason for me to be... Um, super motivated. It was Simon. He was the chap. Why? Because he was the best? He was the best. He was the best. He right? was the you best. You can say that now. No, I, I can say that now. You know, if I ever got off the bike with him, I, I wasn't it was over. It was over. Yeah. It was over. And, you know, I did get to beat him once at the World Championships Ooh. in 93. Yes. While the previous week he beat me by a good margin. Yes. So it was very, very sweet. But that was probably, I think I beat him one more. The, 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 the difference between him beating me and him, me beating him, he definitely did outrank me in that division. But, you know, he was a, a fantastic He was an athlete. amazing athlete. Very, he very good. He didn't have any weaknesses. Swim, bike, run. Strong, he strong. Was strong. Very, very strong. Away. Good lad. Love that. Good lad. So talk a little bit about the moving up from, you're talking Olympic distance, all raw speed, just go. Sure. Trying to learn the Ironman game. Because, again, you're a bigger guy. The difference is, is patience. Yeah. And, you know, that's what I do now. I coach. but and, and it's very difficult for me to talk to athletes about being patient when I was not a patient athlete myself. Right. So Ironman is a completely different race. When you, we're talking about ITU, we're talking about that power. We're talking about, especially now, we're talking about speed. We're talking right. about full gas. Where Ironman, it's fast now, obviously, but it has to have a degree of patience. And you've got to use a little bit of the loaf. Um, and... I wouldn't say that it was my favorite event. Yes. Um, purely because of that reason. Best race ever. 93 beating Simon yes. in the World Championships. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you're a world champion. You're at home. I have my mom, my dad, my nan, everyone on the finish line. I'm running down the chute. There's flags going. I'm going to become the fir you know, my first world champion. You, you, it doesn't be and, and you beat Simon. It doesn't yeah. become much better than that. A lot of athletes have a connection to their parents. No. Your connection to your dad was your dad would follow you on your bike rides. Your dad was with you all the time. How hard was it for you to move forward after your dad passed away? Because that was he passed away so young. I, I don't think I moved forward. Right. I I'm going to be honest with you, Bob. Yeah. I when I finished races, when I won races, I wasn't worried about what what who was taking what picture, what interview I could get. I wanted to see one person one person and that was my dad yeah and that's all i cared about and when my dad passed away i still won races yes but i didn't have that appetite anymore i didn't have that hunger and they know you should do things for yourself but i i, I just didn't have that anymore but, but you're not supposed to lose your dad that young no he was 52 years of age yes. um he saw me win my last big races the european championships so i I gave us a lot of great, great memories. Yes. But at the end of the day, it was, it, it, it never felt quite the same again. Here, we're here for the ITU World Championships. 
there's a lot going on. A lot of emotion. A lot, a lot yeah. of emotion. A lot, a lot of emotion. Back here. A lot, a lot of emotion. And that's probably why I don't always come back because it stirs up a lot of emotion. Yeah. And it's very, very difficult for me to. I just, you know, every day there's not probably not many days that I don't think about my dad. Uh, and me, so you know what? Me too. And and so I'll smell a. <laughs> Aftershave yeah. and go, or a cigar. Bill Smith was here. Uh, or a cigar. Right. Or so, see some guy holding court at a at a table right. and talking to people. You know, and that's that was his he was a big character. And I just went out there and all I had to do was race. Yes. All I had to do was race. He took care of every single other facet of the of, of the triathlon yes. world. All I had to do was race. All he said, son, son, get out there and do what you got. You know, if you win on the day, you win on the day. If you don't, it doesn't yeah. matter. We'll come back. It's all right, oh. son. Spencer, as always, so good to connect with you. One of my favorite people around, man. Thank you, Bob. Spencer Smith has been our guest. Again, we're at the ITU World Triathlon Championship Hall of Fame evening. We're brought to you by Epson, and we're airing on triathlete.com. Hold on, everyone. We will be right back.